Ever wondered how to achieve a great wax job? Well, here's a technique that I've been using for years. There are many different types of wax suited to different water temperatures. Harder wax is great as a base coat or for warmer water, while softer wax is great as a top coat or for colder water. For this exercise, we're going to use a mid-density wax that's suited to most water temps. Now, if you're re-waxing a used board, make sure you clean it thoroughly before you start. Firstly, I like to use the edge of the block to create a series of diagonal lines. Start at one end of the board and cover the desired area. Next, apply more diagonal lines, but this time working in the opposite direction. It's important not to press too hard, even pressure works best, and try to keep the lines close together. Now, go across the board, again covering the entire area. The idea here is to make a textured pattern that will start to form a series of small bumps, which will make the wax coat really grippy. At this point, you'll notice the block is starting to form a flat side. Using this flat side, start making longer strokes up and down the board. And here you should notice the small bumps really starting to form. Follow the crisscross pattern until the bumps are at least one millimetre in height. If your wax is smudging, you're pressing too hard. Finally, make some circular motions in your foot zones and keep building up the bumps. And there you have it. Now, as a final tip, I always think it's a great idea to give your board a light rub before every session.